Do you sometimes feel like you're dangling by a thread? Are you a luchador drifting through space? Maybe you're the main character in Space Thread. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Today's game is called Space Thread, it's by the developer called Elastis Kalinien. I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. Today's game though is called Space Thread. And it was made for GMTK Jam 2021, Game Maker's Toolkit Jam 2021. It's quite a big game jam, probably one of the biggest. Is it bigger than... Um, Ludum Dare? I don't know. It's one of the big ones. Anyway, it was made for that, and the theme was Joined Together. You will see how this game meets the theme very shortly. Uh, we last looked at one of Sebastian's games called I Demand Coffee last year, I think. Really fun platformer. Yeah, I was going to call it a Metroidvania, but it's a, it's a platformer on Pico 8. They're all kind of like that. Anyway, go and check that game out really really cool and so is this one that's why i wanted to show you it let's get into the game then so lovely title screen i always talk about how much i love the title screen but yeah check it out and um, so we are a what looks like a luchador uh, a mexican wrestler and we're drifting through space dangling by a thread you see the theme is joined together we're, we're joined by this by this space thread anyway let's get into the game oh what a transition so as you can see, we can turn with the uh, left and right arrow keys. We should drop off materials into the car. As you can see, I am um, drifting around in space. And, oh dear, I can't seem to go any further. Because I need to go back to the car to return stuff. And then I need to go back and collect more stuff. The more stuff I collect and bring back, the further I can go. If you hold both buttons, you dash. Ouch. The dash is so much fun. Uh, you can dash. You can see there's a little energy bar down below. And yeah, we need to use that to get around. Uh, if we dash through these blocks, we can't ouch. We can't go through these blocks. We have to dash through them. That'll set the timer off. We're on a timer on this game. So I need to talk about all the things I want to talk about before the timer starts going because I'll be in a rush then. So yeah, straight away then. Really cool graphics. It's got a very similar colour palette to I Demand Coffee, which gives the game a really unique look, which I appreciate. Um, I love the character design. I love the graphics. I love all the animation. It, it looks such a nice looking game, this. And there's um, lovely little touches in the light, the little ouch pop up. Very fun. It's also nice in a little, very simple tutorial. Don't forget, this is a game jam game. I think GMTK jams 48 hour game jam, so think so this game wasn't made in very much time at all so it's lovely to see a simple tutorial being squeezed in there uh, you notice the uh, green bar I think that's like the length of your thread so the more things we collect the longer we can um, explore the further we can explore into into space wherever we are it's quite an abstract game this again that's why I like it anyway enough of my yakking let's get cracking through this wall Atmosphere breached. Oh no, we're on a timer. We've got six minutes to collect as much stuff as we can. Um, this tickles every gamer's um, favourite itch, which is collecting things and picking things up. Because that's what games are mostly all about, aren't they? Just collecting things, being a giant dragnet. Um, anyway, yeah, we collect things. I'm not entirely sure what we are collecting. They look like little kind of faces or something. I like to think that these little things are pieces of popcorn. Um, we'll see some um, fruit-based pickups later on. There's also a cup of coffee in this game. Um, I see I see that reference there to I demand coffee, and I appreciate it. Uh, oh, I'm running out of um, I'm running out of rope. I need um, need to charge up more. As you can see, there are 800 things for me to collect. I haven't managed to collect all 800 things yet in one go. I'm hoping to do better on this run. I'm trying to use d um, dash more. You need to use dash to get around quickly because you don't have a lot of time. Oh look, they look like coffee beans. That looks like a cup of coffee. We've just lost a minute. Don't you like the little sound effects in this game? Um, that looks dangerous, but don't worry. 
Nothing will hurt you. It's just there to look really cool. The graphics in this game, so stylish, so distinctive. I like the simple sound effects. It's a shame there isn't any music, but don't forget, this is a game jam game. It's not really a surprise that there isn't any music. Um, but anyway, what sound there is, super effective. And similar to I Demand Coffee, actually, we've got a kind of, we've got some cool little background tiles there, giving a little bit of detail to the world. Very subtle, very nice. I like it. I really do like the graphics in this game. Very nice colour scheme. Very nice um, tiles and things. Everything looks a bit strange, which is kind of why I like it, I think. Ouch! Don't worry, we won't. Um, our luchador won't get injured, I hope. So we have these little areas here that we're supposed to explore. Oh no, I don't have enough Don't have enough rope. Right, I'm going to have to come back here later. Mental notes. Go back there later. Um, you got a little... Well, I say a little. We've got quite a substantial world to explore, actually. Our luchador. Um, and yeah, the more things we can pick up, the further into that world we can explore. So there's a certain element of um, remembering good routes, remembering where things are to pick up. I don't think there's anything over here. No, I'm just wasting time. Let's go back to the centre. Well, how do I know where the centre is? Simple. I've got the little green thread thing, which points my, points my way back to the centre. How helpful. How on theme with the jam. Ooh, we're you know, over halfway. This is good. Let's see if we can get one of the big pickups again. There's a few big pickups to collect in this game. Pick up these little bits of popcorn first. Oh, here we go. That looks like a... Oh, yes. That's a, an area to explore. We don't have enough um, enough rope to do that yet, though. Let's continue picking up these um, little brown things. Mm. Oh, no. We've lost another minute. Oh, that was an unproductive minute. Oh dear, I'm going to have to um, speed up, aren't I? Oh no, I'm just totally stuck. Sort of. Maybe I can get through here now. Let's try exploring this. So, as you can see, you kind of drift forward. You just use the steering. Oh, it's a Game Boy. How appropriate. Oh, the little power-ups. They have, like, different sound effects. That's really nice. Adds a lot of um, quirky personality to the game. Which goes a long way. Anyway, let's bring back our Game Boy pieces to the car. I'm sure that will help. Oh, that's looking very good. Still, we've only got two minutes left. Not a lot of time. So these big ones, we have to kind of dash through them. They're quite hard to pick up as a result. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. I did it. Kind of. I kind of wish you didn't have to press both buttons to dodge because I'm really bad at doing that. I'm really bad at dodging, at dashing rather, not dodging. Oh dear. Ouch. It's a good job there aren't hit points in this game. I'm probably going to find out if I complete the game that the game is actually keeping track of my hit points and I'm doing really badly. Oh well. I really want to get through. Right, let's get through here because I can pick up all these. Look, we've got some little brown things. I've got a big funny looking space banana there to collect okay let's go back oh I've only got 90 seconds that's not a lot of time still got many many things to collect I need to use dodge more don't I can we get around the back of this yet oh not quite right let's um let's hurry up oh no I've run out of dash power good job it recharges I can see it recharging because there's a little progress bar at the bottom, you see. These little things, these little touches make the game more playable. Have you noticed that? Mm. Oh no, I've got a minute left. I don't think I'm going to get a hundred... Um, what do I need to get? 104 things. I don't know if there's anything around the back of this. I kind of feel like there would be. Maybe not. Ooh, I don't think I've been up here yet. Oh my god. There's loads of stuff. I can't remember being here before. Oh, these, this is going to be hard to collect. It's these awkward ones that require dashing. How much time have we got? A few mere seconds left. Right, I better, um, better go back to the base. 19 seconds. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. Oh, no. You can't really steer when you're dashing, so you have to kind of dash and steer in combination. Let's see how many... Oh! I did it! Didn't know, didn't know you could do it that way. 
So, there's more than 800 things to collect. I've just learned that. Just just now. See how much research and effort I put into these game reviews. You know, I play through the game as best I can. But, you know, I already decided that this was a lot of fun. I wanted to play it on a video. So, here we are. Anyway, there you go. If you collect 800 things, and there are more things to collect, then you game won. And I had five seconds left. <laughs> I'm sure you, there's probably a, a much better way of doing that to um, complete the game in a quicker way. Anyway, this game has so much personality. I think you can see that. Look at the little spaceship we've got going there. Lovely particle effects. Lovely animation. Lovely colour scheme. Really different. Really different looking colour scheme in this game. Um, even the even the little splash screens that got animation and things. There's so much attention to detail in this. Space Thread by Elastis Kalinian. You can play it over on Itch. You can play it in Splore as well. Uh, why don't you support the developer over on Itch and download the game? How much is that doggy in the window? Two euros. Well worth it. I've had a lot of fun playing this. It's nice how there's... Um, a little mini tutorial at the beginning. You're not on the clock at the beginning. This lets you get used to the game before it kind of puts you into things. Which really does help because it's such an odd, abstract, weird game. If you didn't have a tutorial just thrust into it, you wouldn't have a clue what was going on. So that's a really good um, addition to the game. Oh, I did a lot better then. There's... Um... <laughs> I did a lot better then just starting no face planting into the um, those white things. <laughs> I love how weird all the power-ups are. Um, there was, um, I think there's an apple that I didn't manage to show you on the last playthrough. Um, so much to discover in this game. Can you believe this was made for a game jam? So polished. Oh. <laughs> You try and describe this game to people. Yeah, so you're like a... Well, you look... I'm guessing this is a luchador. Kind of looks like it. You're a little red-faced man. And um, you're exploring space connected to a giant um, um, piece of green thread. Which connects you to the car. And you collect items. You know, if you try and explain that to people. You know, they'll think, oh no. Oh no, he's off his meds again. Oh dear. Look at the little coffee. Look, the little coffee... Um, pickups, the little coffee cups. Isn't that nice? Oh, this is the bit I didn't, I didn't get to show you, look. We've got little leaves. I don't think I showed you this, did I? Look, there we go. There's an apple look. So much, so many things to discover in this game. Anyway, um, I've um, told you the links. You can click on them down below. You know how this thing works. Um, go and check out this game. It's a lot of fun. Um, I like to highlight these little fun, little quirky games on Pico 8. It's what the platform's all about, isn't it? Oh, we can turn the timer off. Look, if, if, the, if you don't like the timer being on there because it makes you feel anxious, just turn it off. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just chill out. You know, have fun. Um, yeah, I love highlighting little games like this on Pico 8. Um, you know, little weird, kind of casual little, cosy little. In fact, there's that word, cosy. Lovely, cosy little game on Pico 8. Really fun. Anyway... Hope you enjoyed watching this little video. I thought I'd try and keep things a little bit more briefer today. I usually ramble on, don't I? I'm rambling on right now. So much for that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Oh, God, is that the outro? I'm not doing that. No way. <sighs> Maybe I should sing a song or something. It's not going to happen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again very soon.